The Nintendo Switch right now is so close to being on top of the world. The only thing that's stopping it from being on top of the world is the delays of the Switch console. That's the biggest reason why the PS4 is still the number one selling console. Well, if you are like many people, including myself, and you hope for these delays to disappear, I have bad news for you. So a company called Japan Display, who provides the Nintendo Switch screens, is doing horrible right now. They reported a net loss of 31.5 billion yen, or approximately $286.4 million in losses, just for the financial quarter ending in June. And nothing has gotten better since. So the financial chief of Japan Displays, of Japan Displays, said we continue to face very severe marketing conditions. And he also predicted a 15% to 25% drop in revenue before March of 2018. One of the biggest reasons for this loss is due to Apple. Because while Japan Displays and Apple have a good relationship, they're currently moving away from liquid crystal displays in favor of OLED displays. And iPhone displays make up over 50% of Japan Displays. And iPhone displays make up over 50% of their revenue. And if Apple keeps moving away, then this company's not going to be lasting for much longer. Now, what does this mean for Nintendo? Well, I can't say much. Nintendo hasn't reported their thoughts on this, but I do think that if this company does go bankrupt, I don't think it's going to be affecting Nintendo that much. Sure, it's probably going to make the Switch be more delayed, but they can probably just find a new display company. Matthew Hayes at comicbook.com reached out to, I'm not going to say the full name, I just can't, I'm sorry, and he said that Nintendo's business isn't that big for the company. The Switch actually uses cheaper panels, and the contract only calls for around 10 million units. So basically, Nintendo wasn't huge for them, and it was mainly just Apple. And again, it's still unclear if Nintendo will renew their contract with JP. This may also affect the possible Switch Mini or Switch Pro, because those models would have to feature a new screen from them. Now, while I probably won't be making another video on this unless, like, something big comes up, like, related around it, Matthew Hayes said that he'll keep you posted if you want to, like, see the latest news about this. So what is my thoughts on this? Like, the very, very rough version of my thoughts on this. I don't think that this is too much of a deal. I think that Nintendo really doesn't... I think if, like, this company does go bankrupt, I don't think it's going to affect Nintendo. Not like com they won't affect them at all, but it's probably not going to do too much damage. And I do think that JP still does need Nintendo, if, even if they don't really care too much. But this does mean that we're probably not going to be seeing some restocks of the Nintendo Switch soon. Of course, if this company does go bankrupt. So I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please share this video on social media. Please do leave your thoughts on this in the comment section below. If you have any articles that you want me to talk about, please private message me on YouTube with the link to the article. And if you ask, you might get a shout out for it. And see you.